So an example of how I would possibly put a collage like this together, I've sort of decided on layout. I'm limited by the width of my background plate, so that's going to be the width of my collage. And the foreground happens to be the exact same size because it's from the same magazine. So this will be cut off and top and bottom also will be cut off so it fits nicely on the page. Um, so I need to cut off the top of the image and that's probably where I'm going to start. There's also some words on there that I don't want. So here is where I need to cut it. So I'm just going to make a little mark. There's good soft pencil. Make a little mark. I have my background plate, I have my little mark. I want to cut it right here, but to make sure that I cut it straight. This one was cut out by hand. This side happens to be the edge of the magazine, so I know that is straight. So I'm going to put the triangle right there. Press the ruler against it so it's absolutely straight. I just missed the mark. I need to go a little bit down. It's not exactly straight. There we go. Pressing it down, taking the triangle out, and simply cutting along. <coughs> oh, I'm not going exactly along the thingy. Oh dear. You see, it's not completely straight. I went off the line a little there. It did annoy me that it wasn't completely straight. So I'm just going to take out a teeny tiny bit more. And this is actually much easier to cut if you cut with the ruler on this side. and. more easily press against the ruler because it's on your side. There we go. Now it should be exactly straight. So I have my background plate and I want it here so I need to lose a little at the bottom. I still have my stuff that I put on there all stacked together. And then I want this to line out with the piece of pepperoni underneath. The nose of the rabbit goes right here. And this needs to line out with the underlying paper. So this line gets straight. And then this will be my bottom edge. I still have my lady to put in there. That means my background actually moved a little. There we go. So how now to proceed? What would be the first thing you would glue down? Um, it's easy to go back to front. So in this case, the lady is a pretty good candidate to be put into place. Now, we don't want to make any marks on the part we see, but we can if we press her down and take everything else off and take our pencil, which we now did locate, we can make a mark on the other side to pencil in where it, should, where it needs to go. And then we can take our glue stick. There we go. and put glue all the way to the edges of that thingy. And enough in the middle so it really sticks. And then using my pencil guide, I can place her exactly where I wanted her. So now putting the pizza in place, I want need something to guide me so I could cut this edge to exactly align with the um, background and I know this needs to align when I put it on so I have a little bit of a thingy there, that's fine, it sticks out. So if I take the top thingies off, I can take my ruler and just cut it, but we don't want to cut into our Look. So we do it on the cutting cutting board. And 
and actually sticks out the other end, so that's easy. I could cut the other end, but I'd rather do it after I glued it, because I now know this needs to be glued down right here. So I can actually make a little pencil mark on my background plate, because I'm going to cut that off later anyway. So I can put glue on the back. And of course I do not want to get any glue on my cutting board, so I'm just going to put it on a piece of paper, a piece of scrap that was left over from earlier. Again, want to make sure all the edges are nicely covered and have glue on them. And I'm, so I'm pushing it over so I'm not getting into the glue already spilled on the background. So all the edges should be nicely done now. And I can just put some glue in the middle as well to make sure it sticks everywhere. And I know I accidentally cut something here that I shouldn't have, so I need to make sure that that actually has glue on it. There we go. Always close glue stick. Use the pencil mark to align it. So I need to put a teeny tiny bit higher. Dang it. Pencil mark was a little bit off. This looks good. I wasn't 100% exact, and I apparently didn't put enough glue here. I wasn't 100% exact, but exact enough, and now I can flip it over. And see there's some stuff sticking out here. Take my ruler. And there we go. Ta-da! Put everything back on. Bunny is next. Bunny goes right here. Same as with the head. Take stuff off. Pencil it in. Glue and stick. Bunny's on. This goes on. I again can, since I have enough paper there, I can just draw a line where it goes. Remember that it lines out exactly on this edge and on that edge. Bottle goes out, glue and paste. Now the bottle, I know this one, so I want this to line out with that thing over there and it's sitting on the dog and I want it exactly here. No place for putting lines, so it's just going to eyeball it and put some glue on first. There. It's still above the page, I'm still outlining it exactly. Now it's going on the dog, looking 
There's a river here, no, there. And down. A little mess of this edge, but that's okay. Because that's gonna go bye bye. And it wasn't straight to begin with. Oh. There we go. That's a neat edge. Okay, on to the board. The board in this case is my sketchbook. So I want it out here. And I want to get rid of the bottom edge because I had it lined out so the feet were just in. So this would be the way to cut the bottom. And I again want to make sure that I do it straight. So I'm going to put it down. Find my triangle. There it is. You can have round edges for all I care. But I want straight edges on this one. That didn't cut all the way through. The top one did cut, and I don't want to cut more off of that, so I need to align exactly. Ah. No, not sure that wasn't good. Okay. We got a thing all together, and then we can just glue it into our sketchbook or onto a nice piece of mounting board. If you think it's worth it, this one is not worth being mounted on mounting board. It's just a silly little thing, so I'm gonna just glue it into my sketchbook. There we go. Now if you find this a little bit boring with a nice straight wide edge, you could think maybe you want to have another thing on there or something out there just to break it up. Or even put a mutton on there, but that would be really odd. He's actually not that bad. But they're not balanced, so one would have to go up there, there, but then this one needs to be mirrored. That's no good. Anyway, we can always fill it with a fossil. But I'm not going to do that. 